Valheim, one of the biggest surprises in the gaming industry so far in 2021, and probably for years before then. This game has taken the gaming world by storm to an extent. It has released as a quite low resolution texture, um, sandbox RPG, and it is already such an incredible game this early in early access. There are five things though that I wish I'd known on day one and I'm here to make sure that you guys know it before you start your Valheim journey. Enjoy. So the first thing that I wish I'd known uh, starting Valheim was uh, a little bit more information about the rested bonus. It's an absolute lifesaver and it makes the game so much easier. You get the rested bonus by being around a fire and in shelter. The rested bonus massively increases your health regeneration and your stamina regeneration. And you can improve the duration of this bonus by increasing the comfort level around where you rest. So things like deer uh, hide rugs, banners, furniture, all these sorts of things that only have an aesthetic bonus really in terms of crafting them actually massively increase your comfort, which increases the duration of your rested bonus. This bonus means you can go out for longer periods while having a really quick health regeneration and stamina regeneration buff. The second thing is to make sure that you don't underestimate the power of upgrading, especially with your tools and weapons. Upgrades can be huge. Are you tired of going out lumbering and uh, after chopping down five trees, your axe is broken? Upgrade it, get a massive durability boost. Are you tired of your bow just not really doing much damage? Upgrade it. The amount of damage you get as a bonus for those upgrades is huge. Upgrades are a very important part of the game. And as someone who spent the first couple of days just running level one gear the whole way through, no matter what it was, once I learned how impactful upgrades were, I couldn't stop upgrading everything. The third tip is beehives. They become almost a necessity. Uh, later on into the game and it's really really important that when you're exploring your first island you're finding beehives in, like hanging up in buildings and stuff that you destroy those beehives and you get those queen bees get honey production at your home as soon as possible when you start using a cauldron and a fermenter to make potions you're going to need a lot of honey and a lot of berries and honey is only available from beehives so the quicker you have lots of beehives, the better you're going to do when you come to the stage of the game where you need poison resistance potions, healing potions, and all sorts of others. Tip number four is that every creature has resistances and weaknesses. And this isn't detailed anywhere in the UI or the menu really. Um, but every creature does have a resistance and a weakness. And it's good to work out what those are. For instance, skeletons have a resistance to piercing. So bows aren't going to do much damage. But if you go at it with a mace, you're going to do a lot of damage to them very quickly. Now, I'm not going to go over all of the resistances and, and weaknesses, but it's good to work them out. Test different weapons against different enemies. Work out what does a lot of damage, what doesn't do too much damage. It will help you massively in the long run. And the last tip, tip number five, is that once you leave the meadows and you start setting up outposts in the black forest or the swamp or even the mountains, build defenses. Palisades, moats, spikes, really, really, really important because you will just come under constant attack by grey dwarves and greylings and ooze and draugr and leeches. If you do not have defenses up around your outpost, you will have to spend 99% of your time fighting off threats that want to come and destroy your portal and destroy your chests, and it's a pain in the butt. So make sure you build those defenses. It'll give you so much more time to do other things. Thank you for watching my five things I wish I knew on day one of Valheim video. If you did like this video, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing and don't forget to caress that notification bell. I stream on Twitch live Tuesday through Saturday, starting at 12 p.m. GMT. Uh, we play various things like Valheim and Satisfactory 
and other games that take the fancy that uh, are interesting and uh, can get you get your head really involved so i'd love to see you there i do have a couple of bonus tips though for those of you that stuck through this whole video these tips are for multiplayer games now i'm just going to quick fire these off real quick um the first one is on the map when you're playing with other people middle mouse button sends a ping that all other players can see and it's really really useful because you can't see each other's markers so if you scout something or find something and you want to tell everyone where it is and so that they can place a marker on it you can middle mouse button them up sends a little blue ping and they can just chuck a marker straight down on it it's super super helpful and the other tip is there is a scaling difficulty in multiplayer that's really important to take note of and it's an aura so if you are one player in one part of the map the difficulty will be scaled to just one player if you are two people that are close together on a part of the map the difficulty will be scared to two players but if the two of you are separate on two different places of the map it will still just be scaled to one player in each of those places there's a proximity scaling so make sure you take that into account don't take nine people to go do a boss fight when five of them actually can't fight because it will scale the boss up massively and the remaining four will have a real hard time anyway ladies and gentlemen boys and girls hope you've enjoyed this video I'll catch you next time. Peace out and take care.